If you're looking for a really cool trick to save a lot of time and money, I, I think you're gonna like this video. One of the apps I use all the time is Apple Notes. Now, you gotta be on a Mac for this to work, but I'm on a Mac, I'm a Mac dude, so if you're on a Mac, then I think you're gonna like this. But I've used Apple Notes for years for my notes. <laughs> it's what I use for my organization. I've tried other different apps for even project management and stuff like that. I'm actually playing around a little with Notion right now, but this is about Apple Notes. I use Apple Notes for everything whether it's I'm scripting stuff or I'm just uh, throwing out some notes or I'm saving a, you know, a quote or something like that. And I've been using voice memos. So there, there's still two different apps, but Apple now has incorporated voice notes with inside Apple Notes. And is it okay if I say game changer? I think it's a game changer. I've, I've always been looking for a way to just kind of like talk out ideas and even talk out possible newsletters and things like that where it would capture my voice, but not necessarily use AI to rewrite it, but basically just transcribe it to almost perfection. And I'm telling you, this is really cool. So I want to show you exactly how to use it. And then I'm going to show you how you can even take what you've done and use some AI, if you want to, to even refine it a little bit more. So here's exactly how to use Apple Notes, the voice thing in Apple Notes, to record your audio and get a transcription at the same time. Okay, so open Notes. We're gonna start a new note. And then there's this paperclip thing right here. We're gonna click that and record audio. This is really cool. <clears throat> Let's start. So here's an example of a way to use Apple Notes in an amazing way. Basically, you can do now voice memos, which is still a separate app, inside your Apple Notes. So just imagine if, say, you wanted to use this for a blog post or a newsletter, something I'm actually thinking about, where I just kind of talk out the newsletter and I record my voice, and then what's going to happen is it's automatically transcribing it as we're going. So I may not do a full, long recording on this, but just to give you an idea, if I was actually using this and I just wanted to be talking about, let's say, this really cool video I saw this week from Peter McKinnon, which is a true story, and he's built this loft thing inside his studio, kind of his, it's not like a man cave, but it's like a private little sanctuary he can go in and unplug. What I thought was fascinating, besides everything he, he showed in there, is that he's using a $160 Rode mic, uh, USB mic, to record his audio. And I thought, you know what? That's, that's really cool. I'm actually using a different mic, a brand new mic I got for this called the Shure, I think it's MVB 7 Plus or something like that. Um, and I'm really loving this mic, but I digress. But right now, Here's an example of a way you can actually talk out whatever you want to talk talk out into Apple Notes, have it record it. Now watch this. I'm going to stop, and that's it for now. See you, bye. And I'm done, and there it is. But now watch this. If I click that, there's the transcript, and if I play it, actually, I should have unmuted my phone, and if I play it, You'll hear it. Kind of. All right. So I'm going to mute my phone again. So I'm going to go here and watch this. Add transcript to note. And there it is. There's everything I just said. Even the breaks in there are pretty good. Now, obviously, spelling isn't accurate because sure is S-H-U-R-E. But again, but from here, even, yeah, I got that right. From here, I can copy and paste this, use it as is, or I could even put it into something like Google Docs or Gemini's AI I use sometimes and say, hey, can you, you know, maybe rewrite this or can you use this as something? Now, I got Peter McKinnon's name right. Isn't that cool? So this, to me, is the coolest way to capture a quick thought and get the transcript that you could use actually for a script or a blog post, or a newsletter, or something like that.
Okay, again, the reason I like Apple Notes is because I'm in Apple Notes right here on my desktop. And here is exactly what we recorded. In fact, if I hit play. So here's an example of a way to use Apple Notes. So that's the audio. So the audio is right there. And then here's the transcript, which you saw me how I got that. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Again, if I had you know thought this out and this was really going to be a newsletter, I would be a little bit more buttoned up. But this was for example. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to go to uh, Google Docs first and watch this. I'm going to paste this in here. Now, it already tells you right here you can refine this with Gemini. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you've ever never used this, you have these options right here. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a prompt. I'm going to say format this as a news letter, keep the same wording and tone. Hit that and watch what it does. This is all real time. I haven't sped any of this up. Bang, there it is. So what I can do now is if I don't like it, I can refine it some more, but I'm gonna go, go, gonna go ahead and insert this right here. And look at this. Now, again, I, you know, I would probably read through this and see if there's any mistakes in here. Again, it, it, it doesn't understand, sure, but what a cool way of doing this. Now, let's see what it does in Gemini. I use Gemini over um, ChatGBT, but what I'm going to say is um, take this transcript of my voice and reformat this as a newsletter. Keep my wording and tone. And then I'm going to do that. That's that's actually the, the uh, transcript. And then I'm going to hit the arrow. And let's see what we get. Now, notice there's a difference. Talking it out, Apple Notes and Peter McKinnon's Sanctuary. You know, honestly, I wouldn't keep this because this wasn't the focus of it. But again, this is just an idea. Hey, everyone. And again, if you like this. Now, one of the reasons I like Gemini is because I can share and export. And one of the things it allows me to do is export to docs. If you didn't know this, check this out. And it should have exported open docs. And there it is. So this just exported it from Gemini. Just at first glance, I kind of like this better. But again, you could literally just go back to this and right from here. Look, I just think this is like stinking cool because again, I like to save time, really like to save money. I, I don't just use Apple Notes because it's free with the phone. I use it because it, it syncs on everything I have, whether it's my MacBook Air or my desktop or my phone or my iPad, I can just jump in and out and it's just easy. And now that they've added the voices, it's super cool. And and I can't even, I, I'm, I'm starting to try and figure out all the different ways I could use this. Heck, I could even write a, another book that way. So there you go. It's a, it's a cool trick using Apple Notes. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Kevin. See you next time. Bye.